And Savannah, my question to you is, where do these people align in the future if they start to see that Joe Biden and the Democrats are, aren't all what they, they thought they were going to be when the media all of a sudden there's no Trump to blame? What are these people going to go to? What are they going to say? Are they going to continue to blame you, Savannah? I don't think they ever will realize it because the media will be running cover for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris for the next four years. Big tech will silence any conservative who speaks badly about Kamala Harris or Joe Biden for the next four years. So this average person who did vote Kamala and Joe into office and who genuinely thinks that they're the best thing since sliced bread, <laughs> they are not going to see you know, the realities of what Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are doing to this country. I mean, look at the reporting on Joe Biden and Kamala before they have even taken office. Some reporter was like, oh, let's look at Joe Biden's funny socks. Let's put Kamala Harris on the cover of Vogue. Immediately into Trump's administration, into Trump's presidency, they tried to impeach him. I believe Jim Jordan was talking about it today, and it was 19 minutes into his uh, presidency, they were already talking about impeachment. <laughs> the Washington Post put out a headline, now let's impeach Trump. So the media bias is very, very different. And the average person who is stupid enough to vote for Joe Biden won't be smart enough to go and look for their own research outside of what the media or what big tech is showing them. So these same people, and I will try to be nice because I do have cousins who voted for Joe. <laughs> I love them very much. But these same people do not have enough common sense and do not have enough of a brain of their own, they can't think on their own, to go and research these things. So they will not see the America that conservatives see. They won't understand what's really truly going on. They won't understand that their rights are being taken away. Because what I have noticed with a lot of liberals is they're told that gun rights and take or giving your guns up to the government is a good thing because you're contributing to keeping people alive that wearing a mask for the rest of your life is a good thing because you're saving somebody's grandma that a surveillance state is a good thing because now we can stop mass terror attacks liberals think that giving up their rights is better for the greater good but what they don't realize is that it's the exact opposite of that actually that we're giving all of the power to government we're giving all of the power to politicians and we're just we're giving away our souls to these corrupt leaders in government and that's what a lot of people on the left don't realize that it's very it's not even sad to see i mean th that's what these people are that's why they voted for joe and kamala because they can't think for themselves and you know we're going to be in this state until people have suffered enough to finally stand up and realize that they don't like life this way